New at six, if you buttoned up your shirt today, you were using technology that's about 5,000 wow. years old, but those first buttons were just used for decoration. It wasn't until the Roman Empire that they were used as fasteners. With that kind of history, it's easy to see why many people now collect buttons. Tony has more on all of that in an all new show and tell. This is a button worn by a delegate at the inauguration of our first president, George Washington, 234 years ago. And it is just one of thousands of buttons in the collection of my guest today, Lori Franz. Thanks for having me. My goodness, <laughs> I'm holding history. You're holding history. <laughs> You said you had thousands of buttons in your collection. Have you ever actually counted them? No. Oh. <laughs> it would be impossible. So let's just say thousands. Thousands. So how did this all start? It started by a woman in my book club who invited me to a button meeting when she told me she collected buttons and I thought she was pretty kooky. And so I went <laughs> to check out the kookiness and made fun of it the night before wow. and that came back a member. So are these all organized by category, or how do you... Sometimes materials, because it's the period of time that they were made, and that's part of the appeal to me of this hobby, is the history and the art. For instance, these are celluloid buttons from the 18, late 1800s, and these are about $20 a piece. And they're beautiful, and they're handmade, and they have several parts. You can just see where this goes. These are picture buttons that are metal, and they're stamped brass, and they were out of literature and art and theater and music and politics so any subject known to man honestly any yeah. subject is on a button what do you do with them i mean what do i mean besides show them off on tv every now and then if you've ever had something that you love at your house that you get excited just looking at and touching that's buttons yeah. well, i imagine age is a big factor in the value age is a big factor 1800s the later 1800s especially when women started wearing buttons prior to that it was men who wore buttons and a lot of these were men's buttons what were women using before buttons uh ties oh, okay. and clasps yeah. things buttons were only for decoration it wasn't until 1850 that women started using buttons so i can so, tell just by the hobby itself you've learned a ton about history uh, each of these i suppose it's safe to assume at one point was affixed to a piece of clothing do you ever think back on what that clothing might have been who owned that piece of clothing and just kind of get lost in the the past life of the button you should be collecting Tony. <laughs> every single button i buy i i want to just fantasize who was yeah. that person who was that person that and they touched it, it. And, they and, and yes. it was important to them to get yes. it set right and so forth yes are you ever tempted to take something like like the George Washington button and just you know, like like you know sew it onto your jacket and just use it for a day as a real button? <laughs> no, because I'm too lazy to sew. Okay, that's the only. You know what? I'll solve the problem. I'll do it for you. <laughs> it's been so fun meeting you, and this is the fabulous collection. Um, thank you for inviting us in and, and sharing all this oh, with us. Thanks yeah. for coming. Yeah, over. so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you okay, too. Okay, guys, I'm gonna keep this one. She's fabulous. <laughs> Yeah. I love her. I, I do, tell you, you know, I was there about an hour with uh, Lori, and I, I, I could feel it inside me. It's like, because they're so small and tactile yeah, and yeah. gorgeous, you just want to, like, you want to collect them. <laughs> <laughs> and when they have these events, they have what they call a, a poke box, where they have a box of just buttons that are very inexpensive. Yeah. We can just dig in and grab them. Some are worth thousands of dollars. Wow. There's a whole range. But if you want to check out the kookiness yourself, yeah. I put a link to the uh, Oregon State Button Society's uh, homepage. What? You can find out more about it. But they have events and big meetings and the whole thing. I have to say, they're so beautiful on the yes. boards. There was an empty wall behind you, and I just kept looking at it thinking, <laughs> I want to hang those buttons uh, on that wall. Yeah, beautiful. She has a whole system yeah. set up in her house. Wow. And, and works of art. Yeah. yeah, and that was just a fraction of what she wow. has in her collection. But Really neat. <laughs> I get it. Cool. You're right. I do get it. You see yeah. that? You're like, oh, man. When you see you hold it in your hand, it's like, mm, give me, give me more. <laughs> 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 that was so fantastic. Yeah, that yeah. was uh, really Never great. thought I'd want to nerd out to buttons, but yeah. I do. Yeah, so is that link going to be on our website? Yep, yep, okay. Yep. I think we're all going to start noticing buttons more I know. now. Don't look at mine. You can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> mine are nowhere near those. Yeah. Mm -hmm.